Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In the last episode of the Battle for Astrakazi, it's been a long time coming, but I finally was able to find a mission. I was hoping to find a five skull red mission, but it ended up having to be four and a half skulls. The number of times I had to reload and jump to a planet to try and get a five skull red mission was ridiculous because I was looking for a base defense mission. We don't have the chops to be able to handle a straight up battle at five red skulls, but a base defense mission, I think we might have a shot at. So um, let's just uh, get through this little bit here. So I was able to find one in the jungle, four and a half red skulls. Um, so uh, defending the Draconis Combine here, and I don't know, I actually, I didn't even think to look at who our opponent was. I only saw the four and a half skull red mission. So we got to deploy here. So we've got a uh, maximum of 800 tons to be able to drop. I was able to squeak it in at 790. Um, with uh, eight mechs and four vehicles. I had to buy one vehicle. Actually, I bought two vehicles over the past few days. Why can't I deploy back here? Does that mean they've got guys right here? And it does. So they've got a unit right here. So I'm hoping we can burn. They're most likely going to have two units to start, maybe three. And then at least two more coming after that. I'm expecting them to be all assault. So let's just plot out a little bit here where we're going to put our guys down. So we've got our main lance with the um, the vulture. We've got a pair of um, timber wolves, and we've got uh, what do we have as the last mech? Oh, the hellbringer. And then the second lance, which we can probably put up over here because they're a little faster with the exception of the Kodiak. We've got a Kodiak, the 100 ton Kodiak. And then we've got a pair, we've got, a, we've got the Vulture, not the Vulture, the Mad Dog, uh, Storm Crow, and a Nova. And then the last lance we have is the Vehicle Lance. And I'm shocked I can't actually get them here. We're gonna put them back here, I think. We've got the Demolisher which we'll put as far forward as we can. We've got, I picked up an LRM carrier, a 60 tonner. So it's got three LRM 20s, which will help us out for sure. Then we picked up a hover vehicle, which is gonna be here. Um, I can't, Sab Sabuto Kadze or something like that. It's bunch, got a bunch of lasers on it and stuff and some SRMs. And then we've got our bandit. So we're gonna confirm this and hope we don't die. Let's see what we're up against here. Oh, yeah, see, they're right on us, but not so bad. Looks like they've got, yeah, it's a couple Lancies. Like Battlemaster, Sunder, Black Knight. God, we're going to die horribly here. They got three Lances. They got two extras. Local government. So I, I think this is probably going to give us the best chance of survival, unless they destroy the buildings, like, almost right away. Oh, we're going after the mechs. After the Stormcrow, eh? All right. They got some speed to them too, so yeah, it's gonna be problematic. Hopefully, the back buildings will be far enough away. My my big fear was that they're gonna have a lot of LRMs and just be able to lob them in there and kill them, kill the buildings before we could do anything. But how? So this Stormcrow is a new build. Um. I picked up an ember. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be fast. I thought these buildings have a lot more hit points than that. Our allies are probably wondering what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Dude, we're supposed to save the buildings. Why is our initiative so low? Man, I don't know what we're going to do here. This is supposed to be four and a half skulls. I, th I would have thought that uh, we would have had some better defenders, but what? We got a guy right here. Accurate. Yeah, I think even if we drop with, like, I think the maximum drop weight is 800 tons. If we had dropped with eight 100 ton mechs, this is going to be really hard. 
much as I want to melee with this Kodiak, I don't think it's going to be the op right option. Sidewinder. Yeah, we'll, we'll be lucky if we pull two or three of these guys down. Like, I'm fully expecting to lose this battle. I just wanted to see what, what a uh, super high Red Skull mission would look like. Uh huh. Barely hit, Commander. Okay, well, we finally get a chance to go here. Good to go. All right, Igor. Or maybe we don't. Oh, we do. Okay, so. This guy's gotta go, but we don't have enough range to get to him. What the hell just happened? What the hell? It gave me my turn and then Wait took it away. It's like, ah, you're taking too long. You're taking too long. Okay, um... We gotta get to a position where we can minimize their ability to see us and maximize our ability to see them. I don't like this positioning. We're gonna sprint it instead then. I think that's probably gonna be fine. This guy's very limited range. But this Moving weapon back. is really powerful. All we need to do is hit with it. So let's go after this guy. It is turn one, so it's going to be really lousy chances to hit. And we're going to dial these completely off for this first turn. Hopefully we get lucky with a back shot. Targeting enemy nope. Hey! Stand still when I'm attacking you! I hear ya! Alright. Let's get on this guy now. On my way! Gotta pull this guy down fast. I don't want anybody up here. Okay, not bad. Um, I want to save the uh, Warlord till next turn. Let's just see what we get out of this. Here it comes. All right, we got one on. Penetrated too. It's nice. Kodiak should be able to follow that up. Ready to get it on. So we got the Cat Yusha on the Kodiak. That's like a delete weapon. So we'll have to choose our target carefully with that. Man, we got so many back targets here. Guys are so far away, though. Yeah, let's go after the Warhammer. Let's move. This is going to be a tricky fight. We got limited space to move around in. Just going to fire straight out this way. Firing a full salvo. All right, not bad. Strip a little bit of armor. Receiving you. Man, I don't like the, uh... God, they're gonna... They could, so many of their guys can see us. I mean, that's not... I mean, it is bad, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's go no here. On my way. The worst part about it is they hit us a fair bit right at the very beginning when we've got the uh, maximum amount of evasion. On your tail. When they start shooting at us and we've got a lot less evasion, it's, that's going to be the real test of whether we're going to survive or not. The number of hits, like we've got a lot of lighter mechs too, right? So, just to make sure we get ourselves into positions that we don't get killed in. So this is the uh, new build here, the Stormcrow I. Um, medium X Pulse, MRM-30 with, with Apollo ammo, plenty of ammo for the for the MRM-30, and then a pair of heavy heavy hitting rocket launcher 20s. I'm hoping we'll get to use those um, On my way. Double time. to take out at least one mech that we need to kill as, as quick as possible. We're not going to use them at this point. I'm um, hoping that we can get enough damage with the mechs that we have up here on this guy. Firing at enemies. Oh. Reporting critical hit. The mech isn't fully tested yes, yet. Commander. I wanted to have him with acid ammo, but I uh, wasn't able to get any. Well, I do have acid ammo, but not for that guy. Okay, this guy's short, so I think he's well hidden up here. 
Well, not so much from this guy though. Yeah, we're w like we're inside our minimum range here, so um, we'll just fire. And maybe, hopefully, we hit. Yeah, we got one. Not bad. So we got the Kodiak up there. Orders. All right, now Rose, I was gonna put in a uh, in a mech, but she really needed to be in a vehicle because she was the only other vehicle pilot I had. All right, we got speed. Question is, I got a feeling that's just going to get us killed. Let's see if we can get this guy. Moving at full throttle. Problem is, is even with our speed and our evasion, at this high level, these pilots are really good in the enemies, so there's a good chance they're just going to hit us and kill us anyway. Copy that, Commander. Okay, hopefully we can get him with the ATMs with the bandit last. Is that an atlas? Sure as hell looked like an atlas to me. Yeah, right there. Alright. Well. How much we can do about it at this point. Much as I don't like this, we got to try and get a kill here. So let's go after this guy. I'm gonna save my narc. Go to standard. Go to improved. PPC. And yeah. Okay, PPC hit. Come on, come on. Get the kill, get the kill, get the kill. Yes. First blood. I don't know how much armor these... My gosh, so many... So many heavy mechs. Like I said, if we can minimize their ability to see us, we might be okay. I think these back buildings are pretty well protected. They've got to take down... Oh shit. They can, they, they can take down two more and it's over. So that one's got 900. 800. 400. That's a small one, but that's far enough back. I think they probably have to come up the hill to get that. So they might be able to get this one from down there, but then they might have to come up the hill to get these or use long range weapons. This is probably the only other one they can probably see from down there, so we'll just see how it goes. Alright Marlin, uh, who do we want? Who's our next target down here? Sunderer maybe? That's another Warhammer. Battlemaster, right? Marauder. That's a Black Knight. Mad Cat. Atlas. Warhammer and Archer. The Archer might be a problem. Mongoose. I wonder if we just cook this Mongoose. Hmm. This hill is bad for short vehicles like this. All right, let's go here. Affirmative. Let's just see what our chances to hit are. Not good here. Marginally okay. Warhammer 2C. So this guy's got a lot of heat on him already. That's actually not bad on the Marauder. Because if we miss, we might hit the Battlemaster. Although, this is a lot better here, and we could hit the Sunderer. So let's go after the Warhammer 2C. This guy's right down in here. Um, yeah. I'm gonna dial these up now so I don't forget later. And fire. Alright, so a little bit of splash. Ah, laser splash too, not bad. Waiting for orders. Okay, Bandit. Can we get behind this guy? I think that's considered behind. I think that's considered a back shot. We're gonna try it. Oh man, really? Oh, that's ER though. 
Hey, Give it a shot. See if we can get him. Copy that. Yep, we're attacked. Two hits. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Bailout. Yes. Two down. Frees up the Kodiak to attack somebody else. Aye, aye. This is the guy with all the armor. Uh, can we get on the Warhammer? We can. We can. Um, a little better with standards. We'll go standard. And... Yep. Copy that. Okay, those are leg hits. And so is that. Take that. Okay, we've got a good possibility of taking this guy down this turn. Alright, so next turn. Right oh, here. same turn, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um... So this would give us a side shot on him. So let's give let's take that. I have no idea what kind of ammo we've got. Thunder A. Extended range and Artemis. Standard. I mean if we go Thunder down here. Hmm. Is there enough mechs to warrant Thunder down there though? Like, we don't have a lot of it. Well, we do. We got 240. You know what? Let's go with it. Because at least when this guy moves next turn, he'll be taking damage. And an already damaged leg. Locking on and firing it all. I mean, it's not going to affect the assaults and the heavies that much. Hit that was. But if we do damage their legs, at least it'll help take it off. And the mongoose is now in a lot of big, big, uh, in a big problem. With this position. Yeah. So much damage these guys do. And they're fast. Okay. Yeah, you go indirect, buddy. That's i I'm fine, but I'm fine with that. Just keep going indirect. Now the battle master has given us his side. I wonder if we take it. Come on, blow your leg off. Nope. That's the guy you want to shoot. He's got all of the armor. Ooh, he's superheated. Oh yeah. So the, I guess we, I guess that was incendiary armor. Or, or was that approved or incendiary? Oof. We don't want that guy hitting us though. That's the black knight. We do have a lot of incendiaries. Yeah, his leg's almost gone. He'll probably lose it next turn when he moves. Maybe. Standing by. All right. Um. So what's the chance? Sixty-one with rockets. I don't want to take it down that low a chance. Um. But then again, I don't want to like. Let's go here. We'll I don't want to expose yet. Like if we can stay hull down up here as long as possible and kill some of these frontliners. Like we got this turn and next turn to take on the guys up here. Yeah, see he doesn't got that, well I mean it's, it's a fairly half decent loadout if he's shooting buildings. We'll go. Okay, so that was a leg hit. Followed up by a lot more leg hits. So the Apollo ammo is nice for the um, for the uh, MRMs because it clusters really well. That guy's got to go. They all got to go. <laughs> Man, is that, is that a Marauder two? It is. No, not a Marauder two. BH two. Okay, I was wondering why the armor was so low. I'm like, that can't be a Marauder two. Cosmos and Blade. <sighs> Can't get a good enough hold down. If I take this spot, it's given us three chevrons of evasion. Let's do it. Aye, aye. I want to see if I can pull this Sunderer down. 
Sunder and Battlemaster would be nice this turn, and if we can get a knockdown on the uh, Warhammer, even better. So that was a lot of arm damage the last time, so not not leg. Uh, I'm gonna go Warlord this turn. See what we can do on this guy. Hopefully he's XL. Yep. Goodbye. I hope we can salvage that. I don't care about salvage. There's our turrets finally. I'm glad these guys were kind of lighter. Because we get our turrets earlier. Normally if they're heavier vehicles, they won't get up here for three or so turns and we get no help against these guys. I was trying for a city battle. I thought a city battle might have given us a bit more um, advantage with our speed and the ability to dart behind buildings and stuff. Um, but this isn't bad either. I mean, we can we can kind of go hull down and disappear from their, from their sights. Um, hopefully this guy loses a leg. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much damage he took. Didn't take that much damage. Um, but we can go hull down here. Uh, but the buildings are just, that's the issue, right? They can get on these buildings, then we're in trouble. I gotta tie this archer up in a second here. Nope, nope. It's okay, damage is light. Our AMSs are gonna be used up pretty quickly here. To go. Would've been nice if one of our turrets was like a hardened, um, point defense turret. But we can't always get lucky. Alright, I think we gotta go here. Let's do this. I don't think the battle master generated any evasion, but I think I wanna shut up. Who do I wanna shut up this time? I mean, we could go for a mongoose kill, but I think the mines will probably take care of him. Um Marauder. Mm. Okay, let's just go on this guy. Um, do I want to add the incendiaries? Not yet, I don't think. I was going to use a sensor lock on somebody, but I don't think we need to do it just yet. Not even, no one's really moving fast, so. Okay, lost evasive. That should be the end of him. We got enough firepower now to pull him down this turn. And maybe the Warhammer. Maybe. But I'm kind of hoping he moves and then just loses his leg and falls over next turn. He's super heated, so it's not like he's going to be doing much. So if once, I guess, yeah, once we take the Battlemaster down, then it'll probably be the Marauder. So Sea Witch, she's a new addition. I had to pick up another vehicle pilot. She started off with good... Um, like half the, she had five gunnery and six um, guts, which isn't too bad. You? Ran it through a few missions, so now her, her uh, gunnery's up to six. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. This is the mad dog. We don't want to expose too much here. Yeah, it's a pretty good chance to hit, so we'll take that. <laughs> I read you, Commander. Moving out. Uh, I've got some fire on us now, but that's fine. I don't care. This thing runs fairly cool anyway. It'll be a little warm. Nope, not a warm at all. I keep forgetting the jungle actually lowers your heat overall. I'm going to throw on some rockets with this, too. we got two shots, so we might as well try and get this guy if we can. Got it. There we go. Glad I threw those rockets in there. That's a bolt-on, too, which is nice. Free weight. AMS unjammed. Nice. I'm here. Alright, Rose. Um, I think we can move forward a little bit now. Let's get down here. We're going to shoot on the Warhammer, I think. If we can knock Keep him over out. early, we'll take that. We, we dropped this guy earlier than I thought. Actually, that's a front shot. Let's just go after him. Maybe we can pull the leg if we get lucky. Gosh rifles back, so maybe we just go after that leg. I think we do. It'll be very, very lucky if we get it, but we're gonna go after the leg. 42%'s not bad. There we go. 
You can still fire that Goss next turn, right? So... I think it was jammed after the first turn because it was red. But now that he's down, maybe we can just pounce on him and get rid of him. Get rid of that Goss. Uh, so let's get you as fast as you can go. And still fight. So I guess it's going to be here. Is that a move or a... We can move there. No point in sprinting when you can move. Okay, we're going to stick with the HE, I think. And... I can't remember. This is a clan, though. So if we take his torso, it's not going to affect him. Although I think his Goss is in this torso? Or is it in the torso that the... Like, the SRM's normally here. Let's go after the torso. It's got less hit points and slightly easier to hit. This is a good chance for a warlord here, too. So we'll take it. Little extra percentage. Here it comes. Okay, that was probably CT. Yeah. That's fine. Most of our shots are probably... We should probably just core them then. Probably going to be easier to hit that CT. You stay back there, buddy. You stay right there. As much as I want to move the Kodiak down to fight, I, I, I can't afford it, because if we get two lances dropping behind us, he'll be sorely out of position. Alright, we want to go after this Marauder now, so can we get to his side? I cannot. God, we're so bunched up here. And I can't move closer, because if I do, it's just going to be uh, an issue. But I do want to get some evasion, so let's move to here. I think the Marauder's probably worth a narc, so we're going to put some narc on this guy as well. And... He's got four energy. Do I want this guy shooting? Can't do a lot of damage to him because most of our guys are shot. Now we do have acid on this one as well, right? But I'm going to go with incendiaries, all out incendiary on him. And we're going to go controlled bursts. Give us a little better chance to hit. Not bad. Here it comes. God, I love this vulture. So good. There you go. Now we'll really bake him when the Nova comes forward. We'll switch to incendiary ammo on there, and that should drop another uh, 70 some odd heat on him. Mostly miss me. Although we could go after. I hear ya. No, I want Igor to go after the. Uh, let's get you down. Probably to there. It's. I know it's yeah, risking it, but. Speed. I think if we can pull the Marauder and the Warhammer down, then this is minimal risk. Oh, the AC's jammed. Damn it. Well, it's a good thing we got these. Actually, um... So this has got a lot left. Now we want to core him. We want to get rid of this guy. So let's go after him. Special delivery. Damn. Don't think that was CT. I think that was leg. Cali Amazon jammed. No, it was CT. Okay, fair enough. Standing by. Okay, it's Cosmos we got on this, so we're gonna bring him, her, them. Um, it's not ideal to not like. God damn it. Um. Hmm. Like this is a perfect shooting position, but so many of them can see me. And not moving as a death sentence, I think. That's not bad. Position confirmed. Drop our instability. Good chances to hit. We're going to switch these over to incendiary. Oh, it's only going to add 34. But that's fine. Shot. 34. So we hit with both. Okay, nice. Yes, Commander. All right, you. Um, we'll move up a little bit. Let's give these guys something to shoot at. And do we kill... So he's going to go really late next turn. So he's, he'll die next turn. So let's target this guy. I don't think we'll get a knockdown, but let's just fire and see what we can get here. We'll go standard. Let's go with the chance to hit. It's a little better. 
Taking the shot. Two hits. Blew through. Uh, nice. That's a kill. I think those were all torso hits. That's all that matters. I don't really care. Yes, Commander. Don't really care. Moving out. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Now, do we have slug? We do have slug. Gonna use those. Damn, we missed with both. How do you miss with both at 74%? Inflicted some heavy damage. I've actually seen that a fair bit. And I almost think... Oh, we bailed. Beautiful. Well, they cleared the mines, but... Uh, they do a little do a lot of damage doing it, so Fuck. What are these all arrow turrets or something? Yes, nuclear explosion. <laughs> it's not, but we'll just say it is because it looks like it is. Um what are our turrets? Arrow four, pair of arrow fours, sniper cannon. Single arrow four. What's the last one? Where are you? That's me. Where's that last turret? Oh, back here. Long Tom. Well, we. <laughs> I can't complain. We don't have good turrets. Um. Get as much mobility as we can. We'll move over here. We're gonna target that black knight. Get some more instability on him. He'll probably go before us. Actually, you know what? Um, let's go standard. Same chance to hit his extender range. Ah, whatever. Fire and everything. I was thinking about laying some mines there, but I think I would rather go for the instability. It's a little bit extra. PPC capacitor on. I got a feeling you're not going to get a chance to Waiting use it. You, Commander. you guys are down. I don't know how many now. Plenty. You know your target. You know your target, should you choose to accept it. This guy. We're gonna take off the rockets. Now does this guy, he goes on 20. What's our initiative like here? So, you're going on 23. Nobody else is really going. So it would be you, and then that would be it. Now, who else do we have? The Vulture on 20, and the Timberwolf on 20. Oh, we got Stormcrow as well. Let's try and push him back. So we're going to Warlord Offensive push this guy. So we're not going to... Uh, we might hit. Let's go for the Torso. He's going to have a lot of damage reduction, but... Tell me what to shoot. Yeah, down to 50. Still, though. Was that a torso hit? I think it was. Yep. What's the instability we're looking for? No, didn't ladder. get a lot, though. Uh, did we push him back? We did not. So you're going to have to try to push him back. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Doing the same thing. So they don't always get pushed back in initiative if they're, if they're good enough pilots. They won't get pushed back. Let's go after you. Not great chances to hit, but once again, we're just looking for to push him back and get some instability on him. Okay, we're through the armor. Medium X-Pulse destroyed, not a big deal. That's gonna hurt. Did we push him back? That's the question. We didn't. Oh well, not much we can do about it. Maybe they'll move this guy first. Nope. You chicken. That guy took a good hit though. Good to go. Can you I don't like being up here on this turn because the enemy usually can drop here and down here. And if I'm here, like I'm like in dangerous position. So let's sprint it back. 
thing runs super cool, so I mean... Let's move into here. This will give me one more turn to get back to my main line if I have to. Like if they if they drop here, and like down here I'm not so worried about it, it takes them too long to get up to the base unless they have all range stuff. But if they drop here, it's going to be an issue. I would like for them to be here. But we'll see. Let's just heat this guy up. Got one on. 38 heat. Yeah, I think it's 38 per hit, I think. Because it's... I think it's 20 for the... For the auto cannon, because it's a pirate auto cannon. And then it's like another 18 for the round. For the incendiary round. There's very little, like, a lot of, a lot of, like, very little physical damage, but the heat is ridiculous. The mech is almost a waste. Almost. But, um... Simply because it just has the two AC5s, right? Uh, who do we want? Who do we want? It's either going to be the uh, Timberwolf or it's going to be the Warhammer. Warhammer took some heat, which doesn't show up because it's got ridiculous heat sinking. Um, we can dump more on this guy, though. Let's let's go with the the more. And we're going to go in Cinderies with some narc ammo, hopefully make it a little easier for everybody else to hit. Yep, got the narc on him. Yeah, he took 38 heat and it barely, it barely even scratched his bar. Yes, Commander. Alright, buddy. Um, let's do the same deal. You don't have, this guy doesn't have any incendiaries though, so it's not much we can do about it. But we'll get we'll get on this one. Uh, he's going on 18, eh? What else do we have? Let's just see real quick here. So you're on 20. Igor goes on 19, so you'll go before him. But you're like, we got to get real close to use you. Those two have gone already. Well, somebody else on 17. Yeah. So I mean, there's no point in using using the pinpoint attack just yet. Even if we push him back one, he'll still go before our guy that goes on 17, so there's no point. Ooh, nice. And then you shoot for the other torso with the missiles, eh? Sure. I think I hit something good. Did you now? Now, if we can get the, uh, Kalayama in close and hit it, knock him, we might just be able to knock his Where ass over. You, Commander? I think you're too far. Oh, maybe not. Get down to here. Fifty-five, huh? Control burst is not going to do much, but it will hopefully stop it from jamming this this turn. We're going to switch up to precision ammo, and I think we drop one of these guys. This thing runs so hot, but it does a lot of damage. Let's hope hope we land. Actually, let's go this route. I don't think that laser will be enough to fully lock his bar up. Actually, so yeah, let's bring it back down then. Because if the auto cannon hits, then this would be enough to push it over the top and knock him over, I think. Here we, go. we missed. Okay. Fair enough. I've been getting so many um, attacks on the enemy where I'll do just enough damage, yes, but it n doesn't knock him down. They just don't get knocked over. Let's get you down to here. We're going to switch up to standard, I think. Because I think our chance with HE is going to be pretty darn low here. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. This is the uh, lasers. Yeah, it's not going to give us enough. It's fine, though. Ten four. Ah, we got one. That's fair. We'll take it. Heavy shot gets him one, one second closer to ejecting. Ah, uh, it's going missiles again. Okay. It penetrated. It's okay. Damage is light. At least it looked like it did. This thing's only got like... I think like six... No, 112 in the front. Okay, a little more than I thought. What's up, boss? Yeah, uh, well, we're not knocking this guy down now. But you might be able to make him unstable. 
if you can get down there to do it. Get into here, we can switch up to standard. That'll give us the range we need. So these fast hover vehicles are great early on. Later game, like the more I try to use them, um, this should recalculate here in a second. The more I tried to use this thing later game, the more the, um, come on, wait, how's that out of range? There we go. Yeah, the more I try to use these later game, even with the armor on it, the more they just get targeted and hit. Um, I know the Red Reaper's open, but so is this guy. Let's just fire, hope for the best. Yeah, they get targeted and killed relatively simply. Because the evasion doesn't make that much difference when you got super skilled enemy pilots. Standing by. They still get good chances to hit, and there's not much you can really do about it. Let's move you over here. As much as I want to use the EMP on this guy, there's no reason to at this point. We're going to use the standard ammo again. We do have the EMP. Um, ah, do we want to use these? No, we're not going to bother. Although, no, he didn't move enough to use that. Um, yeah, the EMP is great for scrambling sensors, Taking the but it also messes with their ability to sink their heat. Got the other side, eh? Couldn't get that open torso, huh? Critical hit, Commander. All right. Well, aye, aye. We still got some more. You don't even need to move. Yeah, we don't have the extended range for these, but that's fine. We're gonna use them anyway. Um, can you go with this? Because I know the PPCs create recoil. Yeah. Tag's on. Center torso is penetrated now. Hopefully their artillery can finish this guy off. He's wide open for them. And maybe they'll go after the Reaper too. You know, I'm going to be totally shocked. But if we were able to kill every single mech on, in this attack, that's actually not that bad. It's, I gotta say, the, the way that they've balanced War Thunder, I've been finding since the, the, the updates that have been coming out, um, I've been finding it's just getting more and more and more balanced. Whereas before I would, I would find missions where it's like, oh no, I'm just gonna die here. It's a low end mission, but you know, I got too many enemies against me or whatever, but now it's like, I don't know, they, they just, it just feels really balanced. So I'm really, really enjoying it. And with the increase in skull levels, it's given it that ability to make it nice and balanced, you know? Firing. Whereas you take a five skull before, and you're like, you just had no idea whether it was going to be super easy or um, if it was going to just murder you. Boom. Say goodnight. But now it's like, it's in the, it's in the realm of possibility, you know? Okay, we got a hit on him. Or at least near him. Yeah. Get out of that fire. Losing frontal armor. Let's turn a little bit to the side. Moving. Mm -hmm. Take a little bit of damage from that. I was going to shoot on the uh, timber wolf, but it looks like it's going to be this guy. And we'll... We'll worry about the um, the mines next turn when we know where the enemy shows up. Ah, uh, crits. Another X-Pulse gone. Heat sink gone. Oh, now I'm just tearing you, up. you sure are. They're going to finish the job. Nope. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh, we cut these two lances in half. Did we get the main guys? We did. We killed their first lance. Okay, so that was kind of back here. Oh man, who's up? Commander. Can you get around to that Warhammer? Or, or to the uh, Black Knight? You can. I kind of want to reserve you though. Or do we just kill the Archer? I could just use the rockets and blow my load now.
the Atlas is going to give us a side. I mean, we could. Standing by. Are we? We are within range. Or I could go after the Atlas. Yeah, it's not that great a chance. Okay, I wasn't. I came into this not sure if I was going to win. So I do want to win this for sure. So let's hold off. I, I mean, if I was just going to just play, I would. I would rush him forward and probably go after the archer on this one. But I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off for a second here to find out where I pick up sensor traces because I wasn't really paying attention where the enemies were. Of course, why would they not be dropped right in front of me? They're like right here. <laughs> One lance. And I think this, yeah, the second one's back here. Too far away. Arch Archangel, King Crab, 666. That doesn't bode well for me. I think it's far enough away that I don't have to worry about it though. Timberwolf, Galahad. Okay, well, let's worry about these guys. Rakshasa. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that like an Indian... It's like an Indian spirit or something like that. It's like a... It's like a cat-like being or something, if I'm not mistaken. The name sounds super familiar. Timberwolf, Marauder. Ultra 10, Streaks, two Ultra 10s. That's not good. Timbees with... Oh my god, this guy has to go. So he's the one that shot. So we should have him now. Two Ultra 5s. These guys are all bad news. Okay, um... I'm glad I held off now. Who's up? Waiting for orders. Alright, Igor. Um, let's start this off here. Let's get a side shot. Let's move into, like... There, I think. We're still protected by a handful of mines here. Um... 35%. Who did this guy, Wait, who went then? 78. Was it this guy? I guess so. Well. Let's go for some damage because we know this guy can be dangerous. Got it. Okay, nice. Everything on. But I think that first hit went... Did it go to here? Because it looked like this guy got hit. No, I don't think he did. Oh, maybe we got a CT. This guy took a... How did he get hit in the other leg? I mean, even my bad directions, I know that's the wrong leg. Ah! Ow. That's only one bar. It's the stability I'm more worried about than anything. The one thing, one balancing factor for the vultures, I can't swap out the gyro. So anything that's going to give me stability is worth it. So if you're building your pilot, build it for stability for sure. Um, if you've got one, that is. Let's go. That's the timber wolf. A little better on a timber wolf. Let's move over and take don't that shot. Me twice. This mad dog is good too. Like, I go with mad dog and vultures as my lance if I could. Just the looks of them is really nice. I think we got super lucky with these guys dropping here. I mean, they got a lot of firepower, but they're facing three lances, and there's only one of them there. One, one of their lances, so. They just don't stand a chance. And it, it couldn't have been in a worse position. If they were back here, maybe they'd have a stand a little better chance. But then again, I would just drop mines to help out. Okay, the Reaper Knight. We're going to give that guy... Ooh, that's the Prime Mover. I'm shocked that the thing's still alive. Ready for orders. All right, we don't need to worry too much about the guys back there. That's a back shot on who? No, that's not a back shot. 
Who can we heat up then? How's that Black Knight doing for heat? These, these guys are super heat neutral. Um, yeah, that is a back shot, isn't it? No, it's a that's uh, a blocked shot. Okay. Uh, I see," said the blind man. Let's move into here. Coordinates. Received. Not the best positioning, but I think those guys back on the right there are uh, far enough away; don't have to worry about it. 60, 72 in the Legend Killer. Gonna go with Heat again. We get both on? We did. Enjoy it. <laughs> Plus 72 Heat. <laughs> Enjoy the Heat, buddy. He's done next turn. He's, he's all lasers, so... He's not shooting that much. I want this carrier to survive this battle, but I don't think it will. Don't think it will survive. Orders. Yeah, if we were a fight, if this was an open field battle, uh, we would definitely lose this fight. Those move. turrets th have helped out immensely. Let's just try and dust this guy off. Could go EMP. He's, you know, he's got a ton of armor left, so let's take him out of the fight. I'm gonna do this, though. Because we're gonna shoot this Red Reaper. He might have one evasion... To, um... Chevron. Sensors locked on. He did. Not anymore. We're gonna shoot this guy. I'm gonna use the EMP on him. Target applied. Enjoy the heat, buddy. Times 30. So Magpulse screws your sensors up and um, also screws up your heat sinking. So with 30, with times 30, I think it's a 30% decrease in heat sinking. I think. And I know it adds a little bit of heat. It's like one per, sh one per missile or something like that. Oh, fuck off. Ow. It's not going to stop me. You're getting acid this turn, buddy. That was the, well, panic level critical? Screw you, I'm the commander. I got like... Guts 8. Gunnery 10. How's my panic level critical? The armor's not even gone. Critical my ass. They're gonna shoot for him now though. I will be surprised if that archer takes a shot at him. I go on what, 18? Fuck. Watch me bail out now. There's the knockdown. Well, they know who the threat is. Fourteen activations of bleeding. Okay, so not bad. I'm down to one. One of three, eh? Here comes the headshot missile shots. Commander. Alright, we need to deal with these guys and we gotta deal with them now. Um, side shots. Locking in coordinates. That's a Marauder 2. This guy's pretty much out of the battle. This guy's got all the streaks. Ah, this guy's got so much armor though. Um... Can I get up and get hidden, though, this turn? That's the question. I think I can. Let's try for a kill, though. Let's see if we can do something here against this guy.
I'm worried too that they're a long time and the sniper is going to be firing rounds in here. I'm going to take damage. Orders. Roger. Maybe we can bait that Rakshasa into shooting this guy. Because it's so close. Yeah, and maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Alright, let's hammer this guy. There's the knockdown. Okay, so he's done this turn. No more shooting him. Because the artillery will probably target that guy. Although I do have my two... Oh, I know what I got. I'm going to push the delete button on the uh, Marauder 2. Standing by. Can I get by? I think I can. Still get one. Nope. Can sneak past. Let's get into here. Roger. Excellent. Yeah, man, I love that mod. Being able to plot your course when you're you can only do it when you're walking. Though. I can't do it when you're moving fast. Uh, we're going to target this guy. I want to get some more instability on him. Because the turrets, if the turrets are going to shoot down here, then I'm hopefully this guy will uh, take a lot of instability and get knocked over. Okay, a little bit. A little bit of Inferno, not bad. Ah, this guy's worrying me now. As long as he's plop, plopping with the LRM-20, I'm... Or the, uh, yeah, with the LRM-20, I'm happy. Okay. Is it delete button time? Yes, Commander. I need you to delete a Mad Cat to, or a Marauder 2 for me, if you could, please. How far can you jump? Not far enough. Don't think this is going to delete him, but we'll do enough damage that it'll it'll count. Because I still have my two heavy rocket launchers. Let's go with HE. I don't think this matters, but for the sake of argument... Actually, I want the PPCs before the Katyusha, Katyusha and the ATMs before... Simply because if we create a hole, I want this to uh, exploit it. All right, well, let's welcome him to the party. Firing a full salvo. Tags on. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna go for a beer. I'll be right back. So who was it that said that wasn't a delete button? I don't know, I think that's a delete button. Mech destroyed. Out of SRMs. That's definitely a delete button. Awaiting orders. I think if I had to call it anything, it would be a delete button. I think that's what I would call that. <laughs> that was a Marauder 2. Oh, it's painful. If it had max armor, Probably wouldn't wouldn't have been so bad. All right, I want to capitalize on this, so we're going to move you up to here. On the move. And we're going to open up on this guy. Going to drop these into place. Rockets exploding any openings, and let's hope we get this torso. I feel weird about using the heavy rockets on this guy. I think he's exile. You know what? Let's hold on to these for the Atlas. 
We'll go this route. And of course you're shooting the wrong torso. Couldn't shoot the... You know what? He's directionally dyslexic just like I am. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. Shoot the right torso. Alright, I'll go after the left. No, no, the other left. Okay, we'll move over here. He's in range. Firing. Hopefully we can exploit it with cluster. Nope. Never get the torso you want when you want it. Still got the LRM-60 though. Nice. Sensor locked. Don't shoot. Okay, good. A little shy, but he did take a little damage. Here comes some missiles. Yes. Yep, XL. Good night. Yes. We took a little damage there, but not much. Not enough to kill the legend killer. Not to knock that guy down, like I said. Rakshas is the focus next turn. I'm listening. All right, you were going to go in the Black Knight, but now, actually, I'm going to back you up a little bit. Actually, let's get right into here. Let's not say we did. Uh, I really want to shoot those guys down there, though. I just have to make sure. Oh, it's not too bad. Do that. Yep. Trying to get the other side's armor into play a little bit if I can. This guy didn't get killed. Let's try and plink his head. I can't remember how many hit points he said he had left. Take this. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. Scored a critical hit. Mm. That's all right. Who's up? Well, I can't get payback because the guy I get payback against is gone. Let's uh, vigilance. Get rid of the rest of that. That's my sprint, huh? Okay, so wait. My right arm is damaged, so that's the right side turned that way. That's where my PPC is. No, PPC is in the CT. LRM 20. We lost to LRM 20. All right, fair enough. Let's just get back here. Hopefully we'll have enough initiative next turn to be able to move out of there. Let's continue on this guy. Can't use this, though. And, um... Let's go incendiaries with everything. Try and get the kill on this guy. There we go. There we go. Alright. So that's... Do we have six rounds left? Yeah, because we're on round five. Jesus. We're pasting these guys. We are pasting these guys. This wreck has got to go. Let's get out of sight of the Atlas. Okay. Let's get into here. Jammer affected, eh? Doesn't look like it's affecting me too much. Okay, I want this guy gone. Oops. Drop this on. Fluid gun, pair of MRMs, and plasma and T-Semp. That... Not much of a loaded, but I guess if you're gonna overload... Like, overheat people? This guy might have acid too, I don't know, but... There you go. That's a good start. All out of SRMs, Commander. 
Not a bad looking mech. Very reminiscent of the, uh, of the, um, the, uh, Mad Cat. Just harsher lines, you know? Oh wait, what's the other mech that's, that looks like that? That has the big guns on it? Like the center torso is very Mad Cat, or not Mad Cat, but uh, Timberwolf looking. Well, I'm glad you two bunched up together. Okay, let's get into here. Continue with the same guy. Yeah, so it's just a large we just need to turn off. Like, my mechs are incredibly heat efficient. I built them that way. Just for purposes like this. But also, like, I just love to alpha strike every single turn. I copy. Because that, that way you know what your damage capacity is every turn, right? And you're not surprised. So, if you're balancing your mech by turning weapons on and off, you can't predict how much damage you can do every single turn to the end of the fight. I mean, you can't really fully predict. My alarm going off. You can't really fully predict um, how much damage you're going to do because, um, you know, you might lose weapons or make it overheated. But at least, you know, if you're not being overheated or you haven't lost any weapons, you're, you, you're guaranteed to know how much damage you can do every turn. Which to me is extremely important. I turned the wrong side. Doesn't matter though. Okay. Acid. Ah, we're losing our sound now too. It's going a little weird here. Uh, we want you back on narc and you back on standard. And let's uh, control burst this. We might get that leg. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the sound's gone all fucky now. Well, there you go. It's a little heat for you. And he's shut down. And he's knocked down. So he's no longer a threat this turn. We're going to focus on the other guy. These guys aren't targeting the building, so I'm not that worried. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's a pretty nice archer. That's a two ER large lasers and a uh, couple of LRM-20s. Pretty nice loadout. Alright, let's... Um, these guys are so far back. They're not even going to be here on the, on the turn that, he, they, that they need to be. Okay, we're going to move up here. This archer's bugging me. Much as I said I was going to use the rocket launchers on the uh, Atlas, I think this guy deserves them. We're going to use them now. Ooh, he's got AMS. Not going to help him, though. Okay, good damage. Not as much as I was hoping, but it's fine. Oh, he didn't hit any of them with the AMS. Okay, I feel, I feel better now. <laughs> I thought, ah, I just wasted a bunch of rockets. Come on, finish him off. How does this guy get knocked down and go on 19? I guess the pilot's not taking any damage? This could be really bad. We'll find out here in a second, see what he does. Hopefully he goes after one of the vehicles. Oh, mad dog. Pew. Not today, buddy. You ain't got the juice today. So I'm hoping to clear up these guys in the next couple turns. And then we'll have a few turns left to maybe take on one of the other guys at the back. Ow. 
that's alright. I'm going to disappear in a second here. We'll be taking on the Atlas instead. Okay, you... Gonna start here. Gonna drop the rockets on as well at this point. Okay, both of them hit. There we go. Bar B Q. Okay, who's up? All right. Um, can we get? No, we cannot. Hmm. I guess it's going to be next turn then. I was going to say we should get over to the Atlas and get some EMP on him. I mean, I could do it indirectly, I think, but... Let's see if we can get this guy this turn. Oh, we need some good crits here. Come on. Nope. Is that a knockdown, though? Yeah, see what I mean? I get him to a point of knockdown, but... Like, that's pretty maxed out if you look at it. You, though... You're my discount Atlas killer here. Precision ammo. Uh, we can't use both of these. I'm going to turn them both off. We'll use them next turn. See if we can get a plan of precision around on this guy. Is that a hit? Yep. That was an arm hit, I think. Nope. Torso. Even better. That's where the AC... Does he, he's got an AC 10, right? 10 or 20. can't remember. I keep thinking it's a 20, but it could be a 10. Uh, I think the Atlas... Should take priority at this point. Um, I don't know. It's a pretty good chance to hit. Danielle. I feel sorry for you, Danielle. This could probably be a timber wolf kill, though. This thing is so underpowered. <laughs> With the exception of the cat Yusha, it's so underpowered. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Get that, get that kill in here if we can. Nope. It's going down, though. Nope, he's bailing out. That's what he's doing. Probably smart play. Alright, Rose. Um, that's a side shot. We'll take the side shot. Hopefully we can get that torso. This should give us enough evasion that he might not be able to hit us with everything. Yeah, those are good chances. we got some Infernos here too, which is nice. Gonna Warlord this. I know I don't really need it, but we're gonna do it to try and maximize our chance to hit with everything here. Okay, looks like we penned the torso. Another 20 heat. That's nice. Keep him nice and toasty. So, this guy is shut down. I don't really need to worry about him so much. I mean, I do, but I don't, you know, at the same time. I can't get a direct line of sight on the Atlas. So then let's move to here. We'll turn. And I will see if we can finish this guy off down here so that the turrets don't shoot at him, but they shoot at somebody else. So let's go for the torso. Hopefully, get a kill off this wrong torso. Got the, did we get the kill? No, we did not. Damn it. We will here, though. That was a CT hit. Let's see if we can get the CT here. There you go. Makes up for missing the last time. Man, I'm so glad... I'm so uh, sorry this background sound died halfway through here. But... It's, it is a thing with the jungle maps for me. Oh, yeah. He's going down. 
and then hopefully they used the indirect weapons to just smash this guy. Well, we got one more arrow, the long time and the sniper. So that's the arrow. Now you can move back here. Just in case they decide to shoot at you again. And we'll try and finish this guy off here. Man, he's got a lot of armor, eh? Firing. Okay, we penetrated. But I don't know if that was the CT or the leg. Probably the CT. I have no idea. Who's going? Timberwolf. Yeah, they're just too far away. If they had a few extra turns, they might be able to get to me, but... Not worried about them at all. Alright, um... We cannot... get... really? Do I even need to move? I think this guy's blocking the way. That's fine. We'll just drop some Artemis on this guy. Um... No, nah, just, let's just keep on the CT. I was thinking maybe trying to hit his head, but I think he probably has one of those cockpits that gives him uh, extra resistance to being uh, knocked out. Plus the higher level pilots I think have like, like four or five health or something. Ah, still going after this guy, eh? Might as well. Alright, let's, um... Hmm... Move over here, take on the Atlas. Yeah, so these pilots, I mean, a lot of them have like a lot of hit points, so there's no point in just trying to plink the head. Just get him to bail out like that instead. Alright, well we've cleared the front line. They've got six, six mechs left. We should be able to finish these last two off relatively easily, I think. You still got full armor. Not that worried about it. Let's go after this guy. We're going to um, control burst this to drop the recoil again. Hopefully stop me from jamming. And we'll throw both of these on this time. And firing. Oh, not bad. See, but once again, this is like, this is a 65 ton mech. It's fine against 65 tonners, 70 tonners, somewhere in there with the AC-20. But against this, like, well, the Warhammer is 70. Pen the torso. But I mean, against assault mechs, it's really limited unless you can get behind them with the AC. You're not going to be taking them down at any, at rapidly at all. I was hoping you'd be able to move faster. Okay, so is this archer overheating? I don't think he is. Uh, you don't have the move, do you? Alright, that's fine. We'll get up here. Have the ability to do it next turn. Okay, who's up? Rose. Rose by any other name. Let's get up on the side of this guy. So it was the front and the other side. So we're going to turn like that. Hopefully expose the back and the other side where the armor's fresh. Take shots at this guy, maybe get that torso. Yeah, a little bit of damage on the torso. I think if we can get that torso, we can get the mech. I don't think we'll get that lucky on the archer though. Yeah, so you can pull back. Hmm. So that's the left side. So if we turn like this, we're going to move back and brace. I can't face off against that archer and win, I don't think. We're not with that much damage. Uh, we can't get anywhere near where we need to be. 
So we'll just get closer. Yeah, so this, I mean, it worked out better than what I thought it was going to. Got a little bit of thunder on this thing, but that's fine. Actually, wait, that's not... It's the only direct line of sight on the uh, Warhammer side. Okay. We're taking a little bit of damage here going through the mines and the, f and the fire, but not enough to deter me. Plus, we're still full hit points, so no point in... Uh, not going through. Standard's a little better chance to hit. We're going to Warlord it. going to go with Standard. I want the hits more than anything, I think. Yep. Okay, good damage. Not enough to take the torso, but almost. Alright, now this guy, I think we're just going to stay back here. Just for now. We will target this guy though. Go with Narcan Standard. Well. <laughs> Come on, bail out. Nope. Okay. Fine, you don't want to bail out. Don't bail out. I got another present for you though. That archer is still deadly, though. I'm worried about that. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, I missed with the PPC, but there goes the torso. Looks like he's still intact, though. Yeah. So either, either he's Clan XL, which I don't think he is. Yeah, we don't have uh, a shot from here. Where should I move the demolisher now? Um, probably up that way. So let's get here. I want to try and run up the uh, up this way. Oh yeah, he's going to be the subject of all the uh, artillery and the uh, arrows, so he might go down. Ooh, our vehicle hit. He's not doing anything, just hanging out. You don't need to move. Point 0.9, huh? Really? Sure. Burn up that AMS ammo. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this map, about these jungle maps, that it just, it, it cacks the sound. I don't understand what happens. So that other guy goes on 20, so... We, oh, we got a lot of guys that go before them, so we're just going to focus on fire on this guy. Straight up fire on him. That should be a knockdown. There goes the ER large. Guardian's gone. Well, at least we got to hear the creak a little bit. Who's up? Uh, one of them, I guess. Timberwolf. It's nice to know that they still get... Like, you can still encounter Clam Max later in the game. So the AC-20's jammed, but that's fine. Hmm. If they both hit the leg, he loses his leg. Let's go with the torso, because they both hit the torso, he loses the torso. Nope. Torso is more valuable than the leg. Torso means he won't be getting up for a while. Because he'll, the pilot will take a hit. Okay, now it's the, uh... Warhammer's turn, hopefully we can knock him down that back on. Or we just kill him. That works too. See ya. 
think that was a head hit, was it not? Whatever, he's done. Archangel. Interested to see what that thing's got. A little bit of thunder damage on this, but not much. A couple points, probably. Willing to take that. Straight up torso. There you go. First wave gone. Half of the second wave gone. We've got, well, three rounds after this turn. We might get one more. Although we're not really in the best position to go after them here. Let's just move up here. The match is taking a lot longer than Well, I mean, I expected it to take a while, but... Hmm. Let's just move over here. We'll get within striking range. Got a bit of ATM ammo. Who do we want here? Probably this guy. Just use the ER. Yeah, nothing. It's fine. It's a 10 turn match, so we got plenty of ammo for that. Nothing's in range. Let's just move forward. Same mech. Do we want to go with the uh, narc? We got 20 rounds of now. We want to hold off on that. But we got lots of ammo, so we'll fire these. Now we got one hit. Not bad. That was like what? 0.4% chance to hit. We got one. I'll take it. Now, can you get. You can. Going real fast, are you? Okay, they haven't been using missiles on me, so I'm expecting that they don't have a lot of long range here. Okay, sprint. Maybe we can get the demolisher in there to fight. Although, one of the good things about you is we can start applying some damage early. Um, let's aim for this guy. We're not going to hit, not at point 0.9, but at least it'll spread it right where they're going to be coming. And I'm just going to keep dropping that. Next couple turns, and all we'll do is drop that in there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get into a fire line here. We might get one or two mechs to be able to shoot, but that'll be about it. Our Kodiak still has to go, doesn't it? Where is the Kodiak? Right here. I already moved it. Okay. I thought this was the... Uh, oh, I guess not. I thought it was the Hellbringer, but I forgot the Hellbringer's down in there. It's right here. Yeah, these two... I guess I'll have to come up this way. I don't know how else we're going to get to the to the fight here. Oh, King Crab's launching something. TBM, maybe? Maybe TBM. Prime mover. Yep, we got enough ammo, so we're just going to keep firing here. Not enough bad chances. Yeah, see, like... Oh, we might even get this guy with mines. Still got a few turns left. We drop a few more in there. We're not going to get all these guys, but... The heavier mechs don't move far enough to really, uh... To really do enough damage to the legs. Okay, we know we can get strike that on that guy. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to wait till we have a few more mechs up here. Like this guy especially. Should be able to crest next turn and attack. Okay. You supporting this guy. Let's 
or the ERs. Eh. Okay, gatekeeper. Gonna move here, and then we're gonna target this guy. Because I'm gonna move my vehicles against this guy's back next turn. So I'm gonna drop some narcs on him too. Okay, we got a narc on him. Okay, we're gonna put these here. And I'm gonna switch these to EMP. Mm, nah, I don't think this is gonna help on anything, but we'll do this. I don't think I adjusted the evasion in any way, shape, or form. We'll see here. Oh, shit. Huge difference. A pair of light gosses, eh? Really? Well, we're getting some sound back. That uh, EMP is not going to do much other than screw his sensors up, so hopefully when we crest the hill, he won't have anything to shoot at effectively. It's going to put you there temporarily. So we got two turns left after this one, so... You should be able to crest... Ah, fuck it, go right through the fire. You got the armor for it. Take a couple points damage, but not a big deal. Alright, you... <laughs> God, this sound... <laughs> sounds like it's going down a drain. Alright, let's fire on this guy again. So we got one more turn of mines after this. Well, we landed one of the hits, but at least he's in a massive minefield now. Three damage? He took more than that. I have no idea how much damage he took. Okay, this is the next turn. It's so hard to tell. Okay, get up to here. This guy needs the EMP to mess with his heating. Because he's going to be the guy that's going to have the best shot at our mechs when we crest here. So let's mess him up a little bit if we can. Ooh, I wonder what he's shooting. That's the crab. Could it be an arrow or something similar? Some other kind of weapon? You don't got the speed, but we'll get up close. That should be the Timberwolf's turn. Let's see where it gets to here. Oh, moving away. Oof. I think he stopped because of the amount of damage on his legs. Well, let's give it to him then. We're just going to straight up shoot him. I'm not going to bother aiming or anything. Yeah, he, took, he stopped because of the damage to his legs. Ooh. So the Apollo, I think I mentioned this earlier, the Apollo has a tendency to cluster better for MRMs. The ammo. Um, so uh, that's why I'm using Apollo on that thing. The MRM doesn't do a lot. Oh, I want to put this guy right here. The MRM doesn't do a lot of damage because it splashes everywhere. So it doesn't do a lot of pinpoint, but with the better clustering, it's not that bad. Um, this. We are going to push. Come on. There we go. And hope we get the leg. Well, we cleared the mines, damn it. Right, PPCs. Should have just shot them. Oh well. Well, we got one more mine layer right after this. We'll drop it right in here. Okay, sprint. To here. Same guy, Artemis ammo. 
Maybe we plink that leg, I don't know. Saving the warlord for next turn when we crest the hill. Ooh, not bad. A few hits on the leg there. Enough to knock him down. Have a seat, buddy. You look tired. You look tired. Come on, finish him off. Ooh, pilot hit. Nice. Did he, he got destroyed, I guess, from burn damage. Well, yeah, I can't have everything. This guy's turning, I think, because of the vehicles. You should reconsider your life choices, buddy, because you got, like, like Goss, and you're not going to be any of have any effective at this range against these vehicles so let's go this route I'll be shocked if these two vehicles destroy this mech in two turns but you never know might get lucky or we might do enough damage to this side so that he'll turn the other way and then my mechs will be able to finish him off that would be kind of cool I'm moving because I want to get a little bit of invasion <laughs> This is not going to help in any way, shape, or form, but... Um, same thing, we're going to drop some rounds on this guy. Keep the narc on him. Excellent. Help the vehicles out a little bit. Elite Brawler, eh? You want to see what an Elite Brawler looks like? Here you go. Yeah, I think we used that Katyusha at the right time. Would have been nice if we were able to go before that Marauder, but no such luck. Ah, you never know what we're going to get here. Just going to fire it. Come on, ATMs. Oh, they're streaks, so they don't uh, fire. Okay. Fair enough. I feel nervous moving here. No, those guys are far enough back. They're not going to crest that hill. Famous last words, though. Okay. Um, let's just go after this. Nothing. Ah, we're choking. Like, seriously choking here. Same idea. Let's go after this Galahad. Get as close to it as we can. We'll go ahead and use the uh, ATMs. HE. There we go. Order it as well. A little better chance to hit. Hopefully we hit the tor hit that torso. It'd be nice. Yep, looks like we did. Oh, well, we got a good chance to kill this thing next turn. I don't think it's running an XL though. It's like a 65 tonner, I think. Ah, it might be. Don't quite have enough speed. Well, next turn. I was really hoping the Demolisher would be able to kill that uh, Mad Cat, but not today. Or, sorry, Timberwolf. This, though. Last bit of Thunder ammo. See if we can finish his leg off while we fill him up here with... <laughs> nope. That's all right. As soon as he moves, he's blowing his own leg off, so I don't care. He might just stand up and fire, though. I think that's probably what'll end up happening. Taking a little bit of damage. I still don't have scanners in this guy. I'm gonna have to move the vehicles around, Nick. Well, I want to know what these guys have. I guess I can just look them up online. I'm just lazy. What can I say? Get down here. Go up to this leg. Hopefully get both legs. Last turn. Come on. There we go. Thought about doing the head hit, but not worth it. Really? Come on, bail out. No luck, huh? Not going bailed out. King Crab's last turn. 
Didn't do anything. That's interesting. That is interesting. Just decided to give up, I guess. It's like, ah, why bother? We can't do anything anyway. These guys are too good. Uh, I don't know. Fire for something. You're not going to hit what I asked for anyway, so. Yeah, he's Magpulse. So I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. Oh, he's panicking. Oh, you can kill him. Sure. Now we don't have anybody to shoot at. Oh, able to shoot the Storm Crow, though. Let's see what he does here. Where is he going to move? Oh, he just rotated. Okay. Well, we can see him. Let's just shoot him. I'll have to move. It's the last turn. Okay, leg hits. Okay, he's already gone, so I don't, like I said, don't have to move. And firing. Is that leg? Looks like it's low enough. Yeah, maybe. Spread it around a little bit, but got a lot of them in the leg there. Now, are you going to be able to get in there to fight? Who you are. Alright, let's see if we can get that AC-20 to kill something this turn. It's full precision, control burst, and it's not going to matter because he hasn't fired this turn, but at least it drops a bit of heat when he fires everything. No. Oh well. Can't end with a bang, can we? Eight activations before I bleed out. I'll be fine. Okay, so I can see these guys here. So, two silver bullet gosses, arrow four pirate, laser AMS, and light PPC. Pirate, silver bullet gosses. So that would have been an interesting mech to fight. Archangel, heavy PPC, snub nose PPC, two lights, and a medium VP. That's actually not a bad loadout. That would be some pretty heavy damage if someone was getting shot at by that guy, but they didn't even get into battle, so I'm not worried about it. Here comes this side, this uh, missile launcher. Yeah, destroyed something. C3I. He's not being knocked over, though. Rose Wendigo. Actually, let's reserve. Let's see if I can knock him down. So, pull cat. Let's get into here. Switch those streaks up to standard, a better chance to hit, and we'll f control burst won't matter, but do it again anyway, just in case. Yeah, nothing, it's fine. Tag miss, not that it matters. ATM's hit. Do we get the, uh, no, we did not get the, um, leg, but that's fine, we still get the knockdown. Oof. Okay. Don't sprint, just move. I'm gonna go with the regular rounds. They do a little bit more straight up damage. Ten for the leg. Let's go after this torso. See if he's running a uh, XL. Sure was. Have a good night. Have a good night. All right, who do we got left? Marlin. Oh, you might as well just park it because you can't get it close to those two guys over there. All right, last two shots. Well, no, we've got the LRMs too, so. Edge of the map board. Taking the shot. Show this Archangel we're not afraid of him, even though we really are. Take a shot here. 
I'm going to zoom in on him in a second here too. I want to see what he looks like. Like, look at this thing. I think it would be more threatening if it had a pair of heavy PPCs, but it's not too bad, I guess. It's one of those mechs that would show up on the battlefield against the clans, and every pilot would be like, Oh, I want to fight that guy. Because <laughs> he looks menacing, right? And then it's like, yeah, he looks menacing, but let's go see if we can kill him. See how menacing he really is. Alright. ER, better chance to hit, but we're going to go with HE, does more damage. Not that it matters, but... I think we just got our missile launcher left and that's it. Yep, see which... Can you get close enough? You can. So, shockingly, everybody survived the battle. Man, I thought for sure I was going to get pasted in this one. But, I mean, once again, like I said earlier, we had the uh, we had the height advantage, we had the positional advantage. The advantage that they didn't actually go against the... Uh, the the uh, continue to shoot at the base, which was a huge bonus for us. And they didn't have a lot of missile weapons, like long range stuff that they could shoot at us. So, well, there it is, folks. Alright, so we didn't get, we didn't save all the buildings, but there's not much we could do about that. Although we got 217,000 for destroying the extra lances, which is not bad. That won't even cover our damages, but I took, I took max sea bills on this too, so... That's our payout plus this, so it's gonna be. It won't be too too bad, I don't think. Our drop costs were like six hundred and fifty thousand or something. So we lost the LRM twenty. And the upper arm. That's it. I'm kind of really like shocked that we did so well. I'm out for forty two days though. All right, let's have a look here. Doesn't matter what we take, but I want to see what the salvage looks like down here. So we killed. How many mechs did we kill? There was three lances in the first wave so we killed four lances so 16 plus 2 so 18 mechs that's not bad I mean if we had gone full salvage I think it was like 5 something so we would have been able to take a timber wolf or something or hammer 2c so yeah clan pp seeds 2 ERs 3 clan goss rifle grenade variety pack <laughs> These things, I don't know. I've, I, I, I've had them used against me, but I've never used them, so I don't know. Heavy PPC dropped. Um, wait, didn't that used to do more damage? No, I guess not, eh? Wasn't it always... I thought it was 90, wasn't it, before? Or am I just... Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Lots of LRMs. I should just... I'm just going to take this to replace the one we lost, and we're even Steven. <laughs> I think we got a bunch of these anyway, but yeah, we got five. It doesn't really matter. It's just it's just personal. Uh, Angel ECM, so not a lot of amazing stuff. I mean, like stuff that I haven't seen before. That is, exchanger's not bad. Energy accuracy, I've got those before. Predators, there's a couple of them here. So yeah, at a certain point, I mean, gunnery support would be not bad. But I think each level of gunnery only adds one percent to your chance to hit. So I mean, it's it's really a min-maxing item, so it's not really a hundred percent needed, but not bad. Uh, heat sink prototype plus minus twelve heat per turn, minus thirty percent weapon heat generated. Tonnage two. So it adds a bit of weight, but this thing, man, that. Okay, you know what? I'll play around with it later in, in my spare time just to check it out, but this is the first time I've ever encountered a heatsink kit plus. That's pretty nice. I've got to say, the 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 CPL cost isn't that much though. Like these are zero, right? Yeah, zero tons. So this is actually a couple tons. Still though, minus thirty percent weapon heat generated. Are you kidding me? Range finders, slick sweet. Uh, quick sell, upper recoil. Yeah. Alright, so not too bad. Let's see what we got here with the other pieces. Vehicular DNA, um, DNI. I don't think you can, you can't, you can't use that on a regular mech, I don't think, anyway. 
Ultra Auto Cannon Ammo Gauss Rifle Timberwolf Part, so not too bad. Ah, 349,000 is less than what I thought it was going to be. Not too bad. Alright, let's have a quick look at the pilots before we end this sucker. Yeah, this was a good playthrough, but I think um, for future, like we have a look at the mech bay real quick. So, I'm really enjoying sort of the, the mid game, which is like, you know, heavies and like higher end mediums. So, I mean, the way that these lances are laid out here, minus, minus the Kodiak, of course, but like I could see playing with the uh, uh, Mad Dog and then Storm Crows and Novas. See how far we can push it. See if we can get past five skulls. Um, which I think with all clan gear we probably could. Like my lance that we dropped with was rated at three and a half skulls. And we were facing a four and a half skull match uh, in, in the red end of things. So, I mean, that wasn't too, too bad. And I mean, our loadouts aren't extreme either. Like we don't have like, you know, other than the, the vulture here, um, which is like, you know, the two MRM 10s, two LRM 20s and the ERPPC um, and the ridiculous accuracy. Like other than that, we didn't really have any mech with a massively heavy loadout with the exception of the Kodiak with a Katyusha, but then, you know, anything with a Katyusha is going to be devastating. Um, so yeah, I mean, the loadouts are kind of okay. Like even these guys here, um, uh, this one's the three, the three MRM 10s, two ER mediums and two medium pulse lasers. So, I mean, that's kind of where I would kind of head is sort of like the, uh, medium, lower and heavy, heavy range. I think when we do our next series and that's kind of where I'm going to stay, um, and we'll just push it as much as we can to see how far into the, uh, the red we can get. Um, and then we'll, I mean, depending on how well we do, we can advance and get more armor, but really the, the loadouts, uh, I mean, well, these were clan loadouts too, so I didn't really have much to play with because of the fixed engines, so I couldn't load too much on them. I couldn't make them any slower than what they were, so... But yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what we do. So in the barracks here, really quick, we'll have a look at the pilots before we go. All right, um, I guess we gotta wait and heal up here so we can get some good, accurate reports. I got 42 days to wait for the main guy. We can't wait that long because we will barely make the financial report. Actually, what's eight days? Yeah. So we'll just go for we'll go forward a little bit, get most of our pilots back, and then have a quick look here. All right. Um, so barracks gatekeepers not going to be uh, we won't be able to, well I guess we can see kind of see his full stats here but uh, service record deployments 95 uh, 103 mech kills and 75 others so it's almost a two to one ratio so compared to my other my last playthrough the uh, inner sphere one um, we were getting about a little over one to one in number of kills uh, put together between mechs and other kills some of them were like 1.2, 1.3 to 1, but most of them are 1 to 1. So this is uh, almost a 2 to 1. Actually, yeah, it's very close to a 2 to 1. Two ejections, though. I blame that on the mech to completely, not, not the pilot. Um, Standing by. Then we got Blade. Natty deployments. And, yeah, about 1.3 1, 1 to 1. So it's pretty close. Let's take a little drink here. Uh, no ejections. Only three injuries. My main pilot took a lot of injuries. Holy crap. What's and then part? slingshot. Um, we did lose a pilot in this playthrough too, which is like unusual for me. Yeah, about one point, almost one point, almost 1 1.5 to 1. So a little bit, a little bit better than the average. 82 missions. Then Wait Igor, we picked up a part way through. Um, so 34 missions. Yeah, 1 to 1. So not bad, about the same. Polecat we've had for quite a while. So 42 missions. Yeah, about evil, one to one. Not bad. Hotwire. I think we picked up, I don't know, maybe halfway through the playthrough, something like that. Yeah, a little over halfway through. About one and a half to one. So it seems like the longer they, the pilot's been with the service, the, the more the kill ratio goes up, which would make sense because they got, you know, better skills. Then Rose we've had for quite a while. She was, I think, pilot, piloting the uh, demolisher for the longest period of time. Yeah, 71. Very, very low kill ratio because, like I said, she was piloting. You can't see it here. Hmm, the Hunter. 
Do we not have her? No, we didn't have her on the demolisher. Yeah, she was on the... Oh, not in the demolisher. The Hetzer, I mean. But you know what? She may have lost all her affinities. Because they decrease over time, right? So she may have lost them completely. Or who else? Did, did we have somebody else in the Hetzer? Or do we have a Hetzer? Might have been the other playthrough. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a problem with having multiple playthroughs. You can't remember everything. But yeah... She's also a drunk ass too, so maybe that's the problem with the uh, the hidden stuff here. Um, Standing by. Chin strap we had for a little while. Oh, little last but two to one odds almost. Well, one point six to one, something like that. So not bad. Uh, Kit Fox and Stormcrow. So Cosmos was one of the new hires, which I needed the pilot. So six mech kills and ten deployments. So yeah, it's a lot less the earlier on. You know, they've got a lot less skill, too, right? Once the skills go up, the, the kills go up, too, right? So, got to have the skills if you're going to get the kills. So, Thinker was a new pilot. One other kill. Commander. Panic we had for a little while. Yeah, six, eight mech kills, though, and four other kills. Really, she did really well. Interesting. I copy. And then, of course, Sea Witch has only been up with us for a couple of missions here. And then Marlin, we've had since the beginning. Almost the beginning, it looks like. 62 missions, almost one to one. But she was a, specifically a vehicle pilot. That's all she did was pilot vehicles. Yeah, Hunter, Bandit, and Demolisher. So, I mean, that's actually pretty pretty good for a vehicle pilot. You know, it's almost one to one. So, Orders. and then Wendigo we had since almost the very beginning too. Well, no, I guess we're halfway through. But then again, we didn't drop our, our vehicle pilots all that often. Svantovit, right, we lost that a little while back. Bandit, yeah, 40 deployments, 30 kills. So that's actually not that bad either. And that's it. That's it for our pilots. So how do we do affinity-wise with our main guy here? Um, plus one piloting boost for Griffin and Nova. The Vulture I've had for a while, so I got one evasion ignore plus one gunnery. So, I mean, that helped out with, with, with that hitting stuff. And then I want to see... Um, Hotwire, who's Commander. piloting the the Mad Dog, one guts boost. Okay, so not that great. Minus ten percent weapon heat generated for the Cougar. Some of the the clans got some pretty good, um, some pretty good uh, affinities. Piloting boost, guts boost. I know the Stormcrow. I think when is it the Stormcrow? And I think the Cougar and the Nova. I think once you reach thirty missions or is it 20 or 40 missions? You get um, the ability to fire a maneuver. I can't remember what it is, but some of these chassis are really, really good. I know the Hellbringer is that way. Who's piloting the Hellbringer? Igor was. Uh, Igor. Piloting boost. Yeah, we wouldn't get enough missions in the Hellbringer, but... How many did we get? Just six. But then again, you know what? I lost a bunch of affinities because I was letting time roll by. Because we had to get our engineering. Like, this was a long time to be able to get to 800 up to here. Because you have to get all of these, all of the structure, all the power systems. And these were, like, taking 30 days each, some of these. Yeah, you can't tell here. And then these were taking, these weren't very long. Like, I think between 8 and 12 days for most of these. But then these were all 30 days each. So there's like three months right there, plus a whole bunch, like a couple more months here. So, takes a bit. I wasn't really worried about the training modules. We were gaining experience fast enough, even though I had it on slow. Um, I'm not one of those guys that needs to max out my pilots. I like having that variation in skill, so that it's not like, like, you could easily, you know, crank that up to, to level three um, here. And then, you know, have your your XP gain on normal and quickly rank everything up to 10. But I'm not, I, I, I like having that variation in my pilot skill. You gotta kind of choose where you want to spend your points and select your pilots. So, I mean, most of the time I'm going tactics and gunnery. The occasional guts and, and piloting, but most of the time tactics and gunnery. But, um, yeah. All right, so I am going to end this series here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
there's going to be some missions coming up for the next Battle Report series, um, which is the Battle Report on on um, Lockdale. We're playing a Moon campaign right now. We're into turn five, moving on to turn six. Um, the, the combat is just starting to ramp up. We've fully engaged the enemy, so I'll um, be doing a video on that. I'll probably just show you the situation that we're in before I do the um, the battles for the, for my units that I have on the board. Uh, if people are interested in joining the Battle Report series, um, it's it's not. I, I mean, I don't want to call it a series because it's not. I mean, it, there'll be a series that I'm. I'll show some of my battles on, um, and show you what's happening on the map boards and kind of give you the situation. But um, it's really a campaign with players. So if people are interested in joining, you know, I'll probably throw um, a Discord link down below, and then uh, when I when I'm running that series, I'll throw a Discord link, and you can. Uh, go to the discord and check it out um but yeah and the i'm going to end this series here guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later